channel. My name is Oliver uh, and today's video is brought to you by the snow squall happening outside. Um, so happy first or second uh, day of spring. And speaking of spring, the Stardew Valley 1.6 update was just released yesterday um, and I've been really looking forward to playing it. I mean ever since it was announced. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and uh, We'll create a new save. Um, let's see here. I, I think I'm boring, and I'm probably just going to use my actual name for this. Uh, I usually like to play with a controller. So just for a moment, I'll type my name here with... Uh, since it's a little easier. Let's call it, oh, let's call it something, something to do with spring, maybe, or something about the new farm. Let's call it, um, at least somewhat related to what I just said. Let's call it Grassroots Farm. I think that's a cute name, Grassroots. All right, and then, what do we say our favorite thing is? This is a little cheesy, I know, let's say. Oh, 
It's nice. You start with a little more decoration, actually. That's cool. You didn't used to have, like, much at all. Oh, <gasps> that's exciting. You got hay. It's normally you start with parsnip seeds, but I suppose because we're on the Meadowlands farm, we started with hay for our chickens. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Feed your chickens each day by letting them eat grass outside or by placing hay into their troughs. Once they are mature, harvest an egg. Oh, that's exciting. Introductions. we got to meet everyone in town as well. That's so fun. Okay, cool. I don't think I was expecting this. Let's see what the weather is like. Going to be clear and sunny all day. I wonder, I assume it will still rain on spring three. I think the game always gives you a uh, saying that all all video let's see spirits are very displeased today okay not a good sign they will do their best to make your life difficult okay that's rough but we will do our best living off the land let's see this one's for all you green hordes out there chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest yes sir understood seen this farm type before. Um, obviously, I think I've said that already. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little wild boar over here. Oh, that's cool. Where did it go? I put it over here. It's a lot more fluffy, I suppose, in appearance. <gasps> this is so fun. Oh, and it even comes with a fence and everything. a waterfall. Oh my goodness. A dragon obviously speaks slowly and calmly. Oh, look at this. His name is Ollie. I've seen a lot of people talking about their chicken names, like somebody online had chickens named, I think, Beans and Toast, which is very funny. And a lot of other food names, but this one's named Ollie, that's my name. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if it was green or just blue. I think green would be fun. Let's see about this one. Name. Ollie and Hippo have asked the spirit climber if you know our location. They want to meet with us. Okay. Let's look at the hay for our chickens. Oh, we're trying to get the front door slide open. Uh, but let's open up the door. as much on the animal aspect of the game. I mean, I will still have, you know, one one barn, one coop um, full of creatures for the, for the animals to have and for the animals, but I usually enjoy the, the farm animal aspect of the game because it's fun to play. So, it will be kind of fun to sort of shake things up this time. then than we were used to. Mm. I wonder where I was just looking for Grandpa's shrine. Is this okay, that is the edge of the farm. I uh, yeah, I'm just looking for his shrine so that we could read that little note, but I actually don't I don't know where it is. Interesting. I'm so scared. So perhaps while trying to collect, I think 
some clay and the copper that we need for the silo. ASAP this time. <gasps> There's a cave on this farm. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, let's see. Start making our way down there. Rock. Up. Rock. Let's see. Oh, of course. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. It's the cave. Normally exists on farms. That's an interesting place for it. I got so excited I thought it was something different. I'm so used to it being like up. Up here. Like the exit of your farm, I guess, or whatever. Oh, that's another update that I think uh, exists in this one, right? I think you're supposed to be able to see the NPC locations. Hallucinating that as well. I guess we'll see. Oh, that's cool. Like, there's some more going on down by the forest, maybe. That area where the festival usually happens. Oh, I'm so excited. Caroline, the 
this time of day? Do you think she's... Do we think she's in this house anywhere? I know that the tea saplings are a really good way to make money. Oh, does that shrine look a little different? The curtains at the back look kind of cool. I know that Caroline is a good... Um, when she teaches you the tea sapling recipe, it's a good way to make money in early game. So, oh, speaking of... Hi, Carolyn, how's it going? I am Oliver, the new farmer. It's nice to meet you. Okay. Should we go? Well, I guess we're here. I may as well meet what NPCs we can find. I love Vincent. Well, he's okay. I feel like there is some very odd discourse on the, the opinions people have about the children in the game. I think Vincent is just fine. Hi, Art. So my first save, as I was saying, I romanced uh, Maru, and then in the next save after that, I think I I romanced Sebastian. Um, he does have a, spa a spot in my heart as well, because he is a programmer, just like me, and plays Dungeons and Dragons, or, or whatever the equivalent is in this game, and he is, yeah. He's just a little nerdy emo boy, and I feel like I really respect that. So he's also, like, got my heart, certainly. Hello, Sam. Good to meet you as well. Um, and then my most recent save on the Switch, um, I, I actually I jumped things up a little bit, and I went for Elliot. And I do have to admit, he's very sweet. I like him a lot. I know he, he's one of the, like, older bachelors. Excuse me. I think him and Harvey and Shane are considered like, or they're described by one of the books in the library as the older bachelors in town. Um, and I suppose, I suppose maybe that's why their dialogue, well, my Elliot's dialogue is a little more, more fun than Harvey's as well. I've seen some like, you know, some screenshots online of his, his, uh, very dialogue, and he seems very sweet. All of this really to say, I don't really know who will, uh, who we will romance this time around. It will be fun to see what happens. I know that Alex has, I know some people say that Alex's sort of, like, story and character arc is a lot more, uh, like, it's a lot better if you're also, like, a guy, because it maybe, like, brings a little more behind the story of his whole kind of macho vibe, and then, like, learning to maybe grow from that a little bit. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I said a very loud notification. I don't know what battery is low. Oh, it's my laptop battery. One moment. Rookie mistake, I forgot to plug in my laptop, so that's good. It's plugged in now. So hopefully we should be okay to, um, to continue playing. Anyway, I don't remember what I was saying before that. I think something about Alex, oh, Alex's, uh, story I think is a little more enjoyable. Oh, this is fun. Alex's story is kind of better, I guess, <laughs> from the, from the, like, queer perspective. So... Maybe we will try Alex this time around. We'll have to see. I've heard, why did I make a sign? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that's great. You know what? We will make a sign to track where we plant our parsnips. I can't put parsnip seeds on a sign, right? Or do I have to put actual parsnips on a sign? Oh man. Oh no, this is going terribly. I still need to get, I need to actually make a chest. We'll chop down one more tree really quickly. Use up all of our energy. I know the sooner we can update our foraging to be level uh, two, the better. Because that is when trees start to drop seeds. Which is good just generally, because then you can replant trees. But also... You can craft the field snacks from the tree seeds if you need them. Alright, this time we're going to craft a chest. 
resource and a new save for this game and I feel like by the time you've you know gotten a few star star drops and upgraded your tools it just like never once is a concern again so I'm looking forward to getting there uh, and not being so stuck let's see it is 9 p.m in the game perhaps we will go see uh, we'll go meet some people at the pub just wrong about the BC location on the map. I might have I might have just been wrong about that. Oh that's interesting. You can even see like I guess the map maybe has a little more detail on it this time. Crafting menu as discussed. There's the new text sign which is very fun. I already wasted some wood on a regular sign so we may as well make it there. Oh there's a tab for the animals. That's actually really nice. if you've like pet them which is super convenient because sometimes it's hard to remember oh this is oh so this used to be kept under the character menu as well oh there's a lot more stuff this is so exciting okay and then okay i don't necessarily care about this excuse my 
off. Kind of rude. Okay, let's see. Outside for the day, we've got crops to water. We've got probably Willie to meet at the beach. I have to imagine that's what that letter is. Let's see. Oops. definitely something we should prioritize. Yes, and Willie is back. Okay, good. Fishing is a great way to make money early game, so we will definitely, definitely try to do some fishing today, I think. Hello, chicken. Do you need any more hay? No, you're good on hay. Excellent. Okay, let's see. We are off. We're going to have a productive day. I kind of, you know, I, uh, this is the word I'm looking for. I messed around a lot yesterday, but today we are in full farming productivity mode. Let's do to the beach. Do you have a leak? Oh, definitely got to befriend Linus. Oh, what you name him? Hello, Linus. We will be friends, I promise. I respect you. Okay. Linus. Oh, we, we could go meet Demetrius as well. Oh, and I think, yes, we, they are still doing construction over there, so we can't go into the mines all week, I think, is how that works. Hello, Maru. Oh, I meant to put my, my, oh, I'm so used to having the key to the town just lets you enter buildings, whatever that it's, it's weird that I'm not able to go inside yet. Anyway, um, excuse me, I don't remember what I was going to say. It's locked here as well. Okay. I meant to put my watering can back in the farm. That's what I was going to say. We'll go ahead and collect all of these free real estate resources over here. Okay, this is definitely is this what, is this what, uh, you can, you can sit on the play equipment. That's crazy. Oh my God. Can I sit on the swing? Uh, I'm, I'm at, honestly, there's a, there's a chance that we were able to do this before. And I just never noticed because I never go to the play equipment. Um, there's not much you can really do with it, but that's okay. Oh, there's a bowl on a stable. I think the bowl might be new. told you, did he? Interesting. We'll see what that means. Okay. Oh, Aileen, that was an excellent information. Hello, Aileen. It's nice to meet you. I feel like Haley, I want, Haley would have been, excuse me, Haley would have bullied me in middle school and 
so I think for that reason, um, she takes a little while to warm up on me, or I take a little while, rather, to warm up on her, but she, she does have a very cute storyline, I must admit that, oh yes, fishing time, hello Willie, let's see, she's having a smoke, was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Good to meet you too, Willie. I like that Willie goes away on a month-long fishing trip, like right before you arrive in, in the Stardew Valley, and then never, ever, ever goes away on a fishing trip again. I'm going to have my old fishing rod. I will certainly try. I feel like I am just okay at fishing. I feel like I'm, if I can manage, but it's also kind of hard for that other fish. I really struggle with all kinds of fish. Let's see. Oh yeah, the shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. Thank you. I absolutely will. Do we think bubbles in the water are actually going to be there when the cutscene ends, because if so, I'm going fishing. Um, they are. I don't know if I can reach them from around here, though. We will go the long way. Yes, excellent. How long is my fishing line? Oh, ten minutes. Okay. I know there is a hack that some people do. vibrating could be really annoying on the mic. Hopefully not. There's a hack that people, oh, first catch, that's cute. A hack people do where they wait to catch a fish until Wednesday when it rains for the first time because you can go to the river and catch um, a catfish because your first fishing catch is always a guaranteed catch. So since catfish are a harder game, it's a harder fish to catch. Sometimes you can kind of cheat it and get a catfish guaranteed if you, the first time that you go fishing is on Wednesday when it rains. First catch of a herring because catfish only come out when it rains. Um, but, oh shoot, I guess there's not a lot I actually want to get rid of. I'll get rid of the mixed seeds. Um, but anyway, we won't do that. We will just enjoy. Hello, Elliot. a little pretentious, but I think that's part of what I like about him. He just doesn't care, you know? He's like, I am this way. <laughs> okay, let's see. We will go sell some of our fish, I think just directly to Willie, free up some inventory space, because that is all too precious of a resource right now. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this looks new. Oh, that, I didn't mean to click on it. What is this, though? So fun. Oh my goodness. There are so many bobber styles. Okay, let's make it blue. That's exciting. Sardine bait. Oh, that's cool. And a fish smoke. Oh, there's so much new stuff. A fish smoker. Place fish inside with a piece of coal to create, oh, sorry, to create smoked fish, which is worth double. The quality of the fish is preserved. That's cool. Make bait for specific kinds of fish now. That's really neat. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, cool. Let's see. Um, what else do we have to meet still in town? We're doing, oh, we're doing quite well. Abigail, Demetrius, Sebastian, the wizard, and Jazz. Okay. is a virtue, as they say. Oh, I wonder if I can find Caroline. I'm looking for this Daffodil. 
exercise animations. so excited about this giant tree. I wonder what it means. Okay. Now, yes, let's clear out some space here. few weeks. Okay. Let's see. Like, I know there's a lot of new in the game, which will be interesting, but I'm very excited to see, like, if there's so much new dialogue, if maybe there are additional cutscenes with any of the NPCs, um, or, like, even a new NPC, that will be kind of wild, um, who maybe comes later, just like Ken does, that will be pretty cool. Oh, yes, look at all of this stuff. I've got some new ideas to sleep on. <gasps> That's new. I wonder what that means. I guess I'll have to sleep to find out. Oh, this dude here's radish. <gasps> oh, and what is this? This is new. Only a master of the five ways may enter. Is that like the five skills? Oh, I think there's a new end game. 
like skill leveling system or something that uh, that rings a bell. A couple more spring onions. The entrance to the sewers is still locked. That makes sense. Another spring onion. Awesome. simple man all I you know I just like some some simple waterfalls it's all I need to to make me happy okay let's see it's gonna get pretty dark soon and it's going to be hard to tell what uh, weeds are actually breakable and what weeds are just part of the map we will see what we can do I may just have to come back here but I also really see if there's like a forest to explore at all because it kind of seems like there might be that or they just added one really big tree for fun i could see that too <laughs> let's see okay we do have to meet the wizard still used to be. Um, so we will, we will wait. We'll discover the rat problem in the community center before we meet him. And then we still just have, what was it? It was Jas, uh, Sebastian, Demetrius. I wonder if there's like, explore like a new pathway up here or something. That would be kind of question is, do we save the dandelion and the spring onions and the horseradish to make spring seeds with, or do we just sell them for the immediate profit? What to do, what to do? I'm so curious about the new ideas to sleep on thing. I wonder if that is what it says, like, before you discover a recipe, or maybe before you, like, you gain a skill point, perhaps. That will be kind of interesting. You know what? I will hold on to one, perhaps, of each of these items. And then I will sell the rest for the profit. That is probably a good way to do it. Oops. couple of uh, wild seeds that we found really quickly. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. I think we're ready for bed on day two. Very exciting. Let's not get to bed. Actually see. Oh, okay. So we did level up our foraging. I wonder. I wonder if that is what it means when it says you have something to think about then. We'll have to see. 242 gold. All right. A good day. Day two. Big money making day for us. Okay. And all of that considered, this is probably a good place to leave it for today. So next time we'll come back. We'll try to beat the rest of the, the townspeople. We'll harvest our parsnips. We'll bet Ollie and Eggie some more. Uh, but we'll save that all for next time. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Uh, please like the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe for the next video when it releases, and comment below. Tell me uh, if 
if you have played uh, the update yet or uh, what your what your favorite bachelor to romance is um thank you so much for watching i will see you all in the next one